What's up everybody, welcome to another video. Today we're gonna to be looking at Minecraft. I know I haven't done too much of that myself, but there's something very cool to have a look at in this game right now. Now, first of all, it's a Harry Potter map that's been built from the ground up by uh, this channel here. The Flu Network has been making, for a long time, has been making this Hogwarts, not just Hogwarts, but a whole Harry Potter playable map in Minecraft where you can essentially play as yourself as a student going to the school but not only did they build uh, Hogwarts they built all of London pretty much so we're gonna have a look at the progress that they've been making so far currently it's not finished but it will be playable and up to four players as well so check these guys out and keep an eye on their updates on this game So I did, uh, I did edit this video a little bit down to check it out and to shorten it so it's more easily viewed by you guys uh, instead of like drawing it out a little bit with some dialogue or some long areas where you have to try to explore or, or travel. So yeah, we're going to shorten it down so you guys get the meat of it and you get to see all the best parts and you just get a taste for what this is going to be like. Basically, so as you guys know, Minecraft basically this is a there's a lot in this. There's collectibles. There's mini mini quests. There's full quests. There's story progression. There's multiplayer. Uh, there's special like little uh, special effects. Everything is very very well done in this to make it feel and look like Harry Potter just from the movies. Most of the dialogue is very similar to the movies. Which is fine, uh, that's good, because it <laughs> reinforces the feel. So as you can see here, we're starting off in Harry Potter's house. And uh, he's got his friend with him. But he just has a look around to show you guys off what, what it looks like. It looks just like in the movie, you know? I mean, basically, if we were watching Harry Potter movies at 360p, this is what it would look like. And yeah, I mean, I'm, I personally, I kind of want to download Minecraft again. I did buy Minecraft. I played it for two days, but I kind of want to download it again to try and play this because uh, it looks really fun. It's like pretty much open world as well. Uh, yeah, there's our Hogwarts letter. So it looks like we're going to school. Finally. <laughs> I think many of you guys need to go back to school too. Let's go. Uh, so we're out on, we're out on uh, Privet Drive, or whatever it is, and oh, as you can see, they're looking at their inventory there, and this we're gonna be able to get like quests and other things that are very much like out of this movie, out of the books. I mean, mostly out of the movie, I think. I think they pretty much copy the movies rather than the books. Uh, but now we're going to Leaky Cauldron. So yeah, you go down the street and you get the purple bus. You can go to Leaky Cauldron, uh, transporting you to a new area. Like the detail that they put into this is incredible. So. Of course you have the, the dialogues there, pretty much similar to the movie. And here we have Leaky Cauldrons, so they go on in. And yeah, it's it's a magical wonderland. All of a sudden you got these cool... I think that picture just moved. I think, I think that picture just moved. <laughs> but here we are, uh, Leaky Cauldron. Got special effects, flying teapots. Alright. Got a broom cleaning over there by itself. That's just... So cool. The detail, the, the effects that they were able to get together for this are phenomenal. It's basically like a whole new game in a game in Minecraft. The I don't know. I mean, there's there's more than one person working on this. There's a group of people working on this. So it's still, there's still so much work that's been put in, but it's still something that's taken a long time so far. But unlike other, say, remakes like on Unreal Engine, for example, Zelda on Unreal Engine or something, things that we really hope to get eventually, where like one person is working on it's just taking way too long, we're probably not going to get a playable out of those. But for this, we're definitely going to get this playable. The, the, the meat on these is, this is not just bones, there's a lot of meat into this game already. There's full developed quests and story progression. Uh, yeah, we got Hagrid over here at the back. And this is, as you guys know from the movies, the entrance to Di Diagonal Alley. And <laughs> yeah, and uh, it's so it's so detailed as well. Like they they didn't skimp on anything when they were putting this place together. And the scale of it is huge. They've just I don't know how much work they must have put into this. How many hours have gone into this? But I don't even know, like, I don't really know Minecraft that well, but there's some things in this, like the floating broom and teapot and stuff, that I didn't really think were things that were possible 
and they got the character models so well down they even got cutscenes for a lot of different things and so here we are diagonal uh, di <laughs> diagon alley we even got the, the toy store from the brothers the moving hat and everything like this thing this is stuff that i just didn't think even existed in minecraft i only played two days mind but i've watched it a little bit and I haven't seen anything like this i haven't seen anything like this. especially now minecraft is so popular on twitch and youtube because pewdiepie is swapped over it i mean look at that dude even the crooked pillars dude everything the detail is perfect it's amazing so here we got quests coming up on the right and uh i don't know if this is like a just introduction to the stuff and all these different buildings in here these are not empty buildings guys these are fully functioning shops that you need to use for your quests and I, just, I was so impressed when I first saw this, which was literally like 10 minutes ago. Just so impressed. So we're going to first off, we have no money. We're going to go to the bank, right? And uh, oh, it just looks beautiful. It looks so good. You got the little dwarf boys here. Mm. The detail is just gorgeous. But it's just a full game. I mean, like, it's even, it, I mean, because it's Minecraft, it still, it still looks better than the Harry Potters that were on PlayStation 1. And we got this now coming soon, and multiplayer, which is going to be so cool. But just, you know, you think it, you think it, it's, it stops here, it doesn't. I've, I've played some, I've played some, like, themed maps in Minecraft before, and they don't really go to any special lengths to make you immerse. So you got three new quests coming up. And uh, these are the quests that bring us to the shops. So here we've got our first one. We have to get our wand. And we just got our money from the bank there. 250 of whatever the currency is. So now we've meeting Ollivander here and we've got to get our wand. And he gives you actually a little side quest. you got to collect. you got to go around the shop and collect some things to get your wand. Which is pretty cool. Uh, so immediately right off the bat, you know, it's not just go in, talk, buy or anything. you got to actually collect some. You can even steal some money from the bank. <laughs> Starting young, you know. And ah, oh, look, this this the like fully explorable. There's so much to it. It's actually, more than in the movies, you know. But uh, yeah, you got a little quest here. So I, I didn't speed this part up. I didn't edit this part out because I want to show you that there are these quests that you can do, and there's a lot of them too. And later on, we'll even see collectibles like 250 different collectibles. So uh, we'll see that in a, in a few minutes. But it's just beautiful. That, that's just you know. I mean, some of them, some of this is gonna be a little spoiled if you watch it. But there's gonna be much more to it when you actually play the game. That's the promise. So the dialogue is long. I cut some of that out. It's just the same sort of thing from the movies. They, they, they. In the original video, they do pause for all the dialogue, so you get get a chance to read it all. You can just pause the video, go back and pause it to see all the dialogue. Uh, I just skip through the the lengthy time, so you guys can watch it as you want. All right, so we got our wand. It even has special effects as you wave it. It's pretty cool. Now we have to go get books, and we gotta get our robes too. So just like in the movies, you gotta do this. And uh, the beauty of this is as well, they filled this game in with the real characters. So not only like you you you're not one of the characters in the movie. You're just you. And uh, in the game, uh, in this game, there are the other characters. All the other characters that you can think of from the movies. We're gonna see. Uh, Malfoy in a second here once we get our once we get our gear, you know, we get kitted out and pimped up we Gotta go in and try this stuff on so here. Here's Malfoy <laughs> Here's our boy and yeah as usual like just in the movies is a bigoted racist, but that's okay <laughs> That's okay. Please you don't monetize me for that. Don't demonetize me for that But uh, we also got Harry Potter and the crew as well, which we'll see later. So it's pretty it's pretty cool And obviously you saw Hagrid we saw everything we need so far all right, next last last one. We gotta get some books. Uh, I don't know. Actually, so far I don't see what the use for these are. I don't know if we'll have a use for the books. Uh, maybe in in Hogwarts proper, when there's there's other quests that you can do and some more explorable areas, which there is, dude. The place is massive. All right, so far we've seen the area we've seen is still pretty big, like what we've seen so far. Private Drive area and uh, Leaky Cauldron, and now Diagon. Diagon Alley. Okay, so we're back out. The way we get out after those quests is to go all the way back the way you came. So we're back out of where we came in the, originally with the purple bus. And uh, we don't get it though. We have to go to King's Cross next. So now we get to explore London. Yeah, 
these guys actually built London. And I mean, just watching this, this is as fast as it goes, right? I, I edited it to make it go faster, okay? Crunched it together in Sony Vegas, and uh, this is as fast as it goes, but damn, this place is massive. I mean, there probably isn't that much to do around here. I don't know. I haven't played the finished game, of course, but uh, look at just how, how big and detailed it is. So now we've got the Thames here. I mean, the river, it says the river of Thames, so you can probably tell some of these people aren't actually native English speakers. But King's Cross, we're at the King's Cross now, heading over here, and uh, we don't go straight. We don't go straight to the station. There's other little things. So this is what gives me the impression that there might be some things to do around London. This is one of the collectibles, right there. That was a uh, one out of two hundred. Okay, treasure hunts, right? One out of two hundred golden snitches, and there's fifty wizard cards too. So there's a lot of collectibles to go around looking for. Which is pretty cool. Uh, sometimes I like that when they're when the world that you're exploring is so rich and detailed like this. I mean, I just can't imagine how much work they put into this. Right, we finally entered King's Cross Station, and as you might know from the movies, you gotta head off to uh, platform nine and three quarters. So we got this this punk who doesn't help us at all, um, but we do find we do find some of our wizard friends here. So we got the the Weasleys right here, dude, and. Uh, like I said, you know, more characters from the movie, more characters from the games. The, the what? <laughs> the books. <laughs> but other games, other games too. And uh, we make it onto the platform, and there's our boy. There is the Hogwarts Express. And his friend, you know, because they're playing together, it's two people. But it's up to, f I think it's up to five people total. It says, when, you, when you're starting up at the beginning, which I think I skipped, uh, it says you can play with... Up, you can play with up to four others, so you and four others, so I'm assuming five max uh, in this map. She's not bad. It's not bad, I'll take that. Alright, here we got Neville giving us another quest. I didn't cut this one out either because I want to show you guys just the, the meat of the quests to, to give you an impression of what you can do. Uh, this brings us back to a little bit of a classic Minecraft kind of puzzle. This is a, uh, this is a jumping quest, but it's not hard. So it's like an exploring jumping quest. Yes, you can go on the Hogwarts Express. It's pretty nice. <laughs> you have to in a minute. Uh, but our boy here, whoever that is, is showing us the way. And just as one of the quests, uh, just like as you go, you know, as the story progresses, as your story progresses, you uh, you just get these quests that just give you like some time to explore and take in the area that you're in it's really like living out things because obviously when you're watching the movies you can only fulfill so much of your your needs for taking in the area but here you know it's even though it's square pixelated it still gives you such a good feeling because of the sheer level of detail it gives you such a detailed feeling and uh you get to take your time to explore that and you have to do things with a goal as well which just gives you such a good feeling so here we go we finished that quest gave him his toad back and uh, now it's time to move on. Gotta get our next quest to progress in the story, I suppose. And our progression takes us to the next area. Ah, and as we as we get on here, we can check out the compartments here, and we got all the, the characters we might know. So here we got what, what's his name, Malfoy with his friends, and then we got wait that is that Malfoy? I don't know. And then we got like the Harry Potter cabin here with Weasley and Hermione, and then we got our own one. All right. So pretty cool, and more cutscenes, dude. I don't know, like, I, I don't know how they do this. I don't have any idea about editing maps and making maps yourself. This is very impressive, very impressive. It stopped being Minecraft a long time ago. It's just, it's just a Harry Potter game, literally a Harry Potter game. So now we're on Hogsmeade Station, and we gotta make our way to the castle. But it's even nighttime too. Just uh. Oh, just the fine touches that just give that a magical feeling, a magical sense. <laughs> and again, another quest, you gotta go f find out what you, what you gotta do, you know? Look at the detail just around the, just the general area, you know, places you don't even have to go look so detailed. But obviously when you're here, you can explore as much as you want, you know? You just take it in, take your time. Like, this is, this is a kid's dream, dude. Harry Potter is big, and uh, I, love, I love the movies. I watch the movies every year after Christmas. So having this to be able to play maybe uh, would be really cool. Oh, there's the sunset effect on the mountains there. In fact, it's just sunset. Such a good, such a good uh, atmosphere for this. Such a magical feeling. 
I didn't cut this out because there's actually so much detail to just look around and just such a beautiful place. I could have sped it up, but um, I want to give you guys, I'm going to slow it down like bit by bit here because we're coming near to the castle area. And uh, yeah, actually, you know, I think I'll leave it there. I've pretty much said everything I need to see. You guys can see the rest. Uh, we're on our way to the castle. There's quests, there's all sorts of things. And one other thing though, later in the castle, I'm not going to talk about it because I'm going to cut myself out now. But later in the castle, even getting sorted into your house is dependent upon what you answer in a series of questions, which is so cool. You don't just get Gryffindor or whatever. You, you have to answer questions and that determines what house you get sorted, which is such a cool little detail too. All right, guys, that's it, that's it for me. Thanks for watching. Uh, enjoy the rest because the, the rest is pretty kicking. <laughs> you get to see the castle and you get to see some other details and just where this game is going. Uh, but yeah, enjoy it. Don't forget to sub or drop a like and tell your friends. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye. Huh? 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 Thank you.
Hả? Hả? Huh? 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 